downtown. And the Chiefs are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. Now the homes to the line as the Chiefs are going to go for the two-point try. Mahomes will throw for it. And now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Bengals set to take over. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Third quarter action from Kansas City. Second down and 10. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And he'll find Chase on the right side complete. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Burrow will throw. He gets this one to Boyd. It'll be a gain of five. And it's second down. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And Higgins is going to have a Bengals first down as he'll get this up to midfield. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. From midfield now, Burrow. And that's complete to the tight end, Devin Asiasi. Three quarters in the books. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Throwing again, it's Burrow. Quick slant caught by Chase. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 20-yard line. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. From the red zone now, here's Burrow first down. He'll flip this out to Evans. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. Again, it's Burrow. Throw left side complete. That's Boyd. And the Bengals are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. 
I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, you just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. They'll look to run with Evans. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Back at the two now. Here's second and goal. They'll bring a tight end in motion. Evans again. And he takes it into the end zone. A great play there. His 21st touchdown of the season. And the Bengals are closing in on that 16-0 record as they add on to their lead. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. And McPherson on for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. And the Chiefs offense ready to go again. And that five-game win streak is ticking away here in the fourth quarter. Just haven't been as sharp in this one. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Has his man. That's James. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Now here's Mahomes. He's got this to the rookie, Rasheed Rice. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They go ahead and mark it in the win column, but as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 46. Mahomes going to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. And I don't know that that fumble is going to matter a whole lot. You look at the deficit here in the fourth. It doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about, we're going to address this come practice next week because maybe that's the reason we're down this far. Doesn't matter at this point, but being sloppy throughout the game, not going to help him improve. Chris Jones that time coming in with a tackle behind the line. This offense has had a lot to like in this game. I don't know that that last play, though, is going to make the highlight reel. It's not going to make the highlight reel, but it will be the focus of the film session that the team has to sit through. I've sat through those before. Never any fun. You're always excited about your good plays, and they actually fast forward through those. All right, that was good. All right, great. They get to the bad ones and really illuminate them. Not cool. Here's Chase now on the jet sweep. So they get half of what they needed. It'll be third and six upcoming. Now it's Burrow. He completes it to Evans. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. 
They'll get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. They bring pressure there on third down, but this is a nice job of picking it up and making sure their guy has time to deliver the football, and they wind up getting the first down. They'll run on first down with Evans. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Again, a run with Evans. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Third and two, now Burrow. And he's got his tight end, that's Smith. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they get five there on third and two. And I think there defensively, they were so intent on stopping the run that they kind of got caught out of position. This is just a simple pitch and catch for a first down. Here we go. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Now Burrow. Yeah, he's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. T. Higgins with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bengals have sewn this one up as they add to their lead here in the fourth. Well, where our booth is here, we can see all of the writers to our left. And their post-game stories, Charles, they have been filed for some time because this game, boy, is it lopsided. Yeah, we can see our guy Scoop. He's even got his fedora tipped over his face. I think he's taking a nap now. Nothing left to write for him. But how gratifying has it been for them to see what they've done in practice and carry it into a game and see the execution be so good? They've got to feel fantastic about what they've accomplished in this one. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And he returns this to the 22. Casey's offense ready to take over. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. The catch and run there, good for 16 of first. to throw is Mahomes. And he'll look underneath here for Edwards Alaire. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Mahomes to throw. Over the middle complete. It's James. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. From the 43, here's second down and one. And again, it's Mahomes. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. DJ Reader able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. Well, partner, you and I will be headed to the airport, but after this game, when it's interview time, Someone's going to ask this quarterback what hurt worse, the interceptions or the sacks. His whole day has been rough. 
barring a miraculous comeback, this offense isn't going to win this game, but he's probably going to say what hurt most is the loss. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Ball oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Trying to fit it into Moore, but it's intercepted. Daxton Hill picks it off. And they've got the huge lead. Now they have another interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road. It helps seal away one of their best efforts of the season. Cincinnati's offense coming back here onto the field. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. Here we go. Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll begin on the ground with Evans. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll go again here with Evans. And takes this one across the 35 to the 36, a gain of about four. And Bengals on third down. They've had plenty of success. Eight conversions, looking for a ninth. This time they face a third and two. And now Burrow going to be intercepted yet again. Picked up by Nick Bolton. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. Well, this has been a bit of a tough game to figure out when it comes to him throwing the football. He's got the three touchdown passes, but now, Charles, this is a third interception. And those aren't really numbers that you'd like to see balance out. In a normal ledger sheet, if you can balance everything, you feel good about your day. But as a quarterback, you need your ratio to be more like three touchdown passes to one interception. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. That ball caught, it's Rice. 23 yards on the play. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that will cut this lead down to 25. They have the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. But not that any of the points would be needed, but CD, they've got enough time left here. They could definitely score on this drive, maybe even an ensuing drive as well if they really want to drive home this landslide victory. Yeah, we're certainly about to see just how aggressive they want to be here down the stretch. And what some coaches do is they try and meet it halfway, meaning they want to continue to run their offense, but they'll put in a lot of backups to do it and then tell the opposing coach, hey, I had to get them some work too. I can't just let them sit over on the sidelines all the time. Evans gets it again on second down. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. Gun, gun. 
Now it's Burrow. On the screen, this is Evans. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Maybe a critical mistake at this juncture is now they've got a first and ten. Evans running straight ahead. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. Three yards remain for second down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. And they'll fake the jet sweep, and instead of give up the middle to Williams. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. This offense, number one in the NFL in picking up first downs, and their run game got them another one there. A really good stat to lead the league in, isn't it? Because if you keep picking up first downs, sustaining drives, that means you're controlling the football, controlling the clock, and letting your defense rest on the sidelines. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. They run it again with Williams. There he goes left side. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, this has been another impressive display by this undefeated team, Charles, and it looks like they're going to stay that way after this one. Yeah, one of the league's best offenses, they stayed on brand in this contest because they continue to look good at what they do. Just added a late touchdown. Now they're really hammering home just how good they've been all year long, letting the rest of the league take notice. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Here's Richie James on the return. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. They can't do much at this point, partner. This one is going to go down in the loss column. You don't make up for what has happened during the game in this sequence here. Maybe you hand it off and let someone run the ball if you, if you so choose. But otherwise, just kneel down, call it a day, and try and prepare going forward. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Back to the air on second down. It's Mahomes. That'll be caught by Rice. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. A throw right side taken in by the tight end, Gray. And we've got a timeout. Nine seconds remaining. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. They'll set up the screen to Edwards Alaire. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. One last shot at the end zone. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete.
Well, the lopsided affair finally coming to an end, and really no shortage of big plays for us to examine, partner, on offense or on defense for this team. They were so well-rounded in this one. They certainly were, and how about the day those defenders had, though? How many takeaways did they have? I quit counting after a while. They were clearly the better team, and their defensive effort, it led the way. So for the Bengals, they have indeed reached a perfect 16-0, but now still one game remains before they join the 07 Pats and the 72 Dolphins as the only teams to finish a regular season unbeaten. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. From Kansas City, so long, everybody.